Okay, here we go. Multiple representations, day five. Okay, we are still working on going from the equation to the table to the graph. Verbal means the situation. Okay, a little bit different today. Um, a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to walk you through it. And then please complete your homework. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Today we're given the equation 3x plus y equals 4. I need to actually write that in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 3x first. And now I have y equals negative 3x plus 4. So I know my slope is negative 3 and my y-intercept is 4. Okay. Um, here I get to choose my x's, so I'm actually going to choose some negatives because I have a negative side here and a positive side. So I'm going to choose negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And I'm going to take negative 2 and plug it in, so negative 2 times negative 3 would be 6 plus 4 is 10. Negative 3 times negative 1 plus 4 is 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, now, I could keep going through this, or I could just use my slope. My slope is negative 3. That means I go minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. This number here is this number number here. Okay, so 7 minus 3 would give me 4. 4 minus 3 would give me 1. 1 minus 3 would give me negative 2. I think that's a little easier than doing the arithmetic part. If you want to do the arithmetic part, go ahead. Okay, starting on my graph, I'm going to start at 4 and I'm going down 3 to the right 1. Down 3 to the right one, down three to the right one. Okay, now if I wanna go up, I can go back one and up three or up three back one. I could also use these ordered pairs here. Negative two, 10, so I go to negative two, 10. I go one, seven. 0, 4. I'm going to draw my line. This is linear. I'm in slope-intercept form. So I have a nice straight line, not like yesterday where we had a curve. Okay, the graph of the function contains the point. So I'm going to, it contains what point? It can create, contains negative 2, 10. I could have also put it contains negative 1, 7, it contains 0, 4, it contains 1, 1, it contains 2, negative 2. Okay. Um, when the value of x increased by one unit. So the value of x increased by one unit. The y decreased by three units. That is your slope. Okay, now I need to answer the questions on the bottom. Is the slope of the line positive or negative? My slope is negative. And circle which representations you use to find to answer your questions. If I was doing that, I'd find my slope right here in the equation. Some people might have found it on the graph because this is going down. Some people might use the verbal. That would be decreased by three units. They could use the table here. When the x value decreased by two, what happened to the y value? When the x value decreased by two, so that's going from here to here. No. When the x value, sorry, yes, increased by 2, what happens to the y value? 
it actually what decreases by six. I'm just skipping a number here. So instead of going down by one or up by one, I'm going up by two, increase by two. So what happens when I go up by two? It actually decreased by six. And what did I use? I used the table here. What is the value of x when y is negative five? What is the value of x when y is negative five? So I'm actually gonna go over here. When y is negative five, ooh, that's off my graph, so I can't use my graph, okay? When y is negative five here and go backwards, that's pretty hard. So I'm actually gonna use my equation, y equals negative three x plus four. When my x is negative five, Subtract 4 and I get negative 9 is equal to negative 3x divided by negative 3. And 3 is equal to x. So when my y is negative, when my y is negative 5, oh, I did that wrong. My x is 3. It's this point right there. So I actually use my equation again, but if I actually did the graph part right, my y is negative five, that point right there, I could have used my graph. Okay, if you have any questions, please reach out.